Hello guys and welcome, this is iPlay 4K and today I would like to show you Grid 2 in 4K resolution with the 3 Titan X Super Clock Edition and SLI and we're going to run two benchmark, one in 4K which is 3840 by 2160 pixels wide 16 divided by 9 aspect ratio without the anti-aliasing, without the multi-sapling anti-aliasing which is off and then we're going to run with the maximum multi-sapling anti-aliasing which will be 8 times MSAA let's go ahead and get going 3 Titan X Super Clock Edition no overclocking just how they come Super Clock Edition is 100 MHz faster than regular Titan X it's 3 of them and SLI let's go ahead and check it out keep in mind that I also recorded an 8K resolution which is 8192 pixels by 4320 but it's going to be a different video I will put that video description uh, video link in video description of this video so you can click and watch it as well in 8K resolution how 3 Titan X on the same system can do let me go ahead and run the benchmark it's going to be a preset which will be ultra untouched let me go ahead and demonstrate it to you Soft ambient occlusion will be off, this is how it is at the ultra preset. I actually like it when it's off because it shadows more like a natural shadows. Okay, so it's a static benchmark running and as again, keep in mind that I ran the same benchmark at the AK available at the iPlay 4K YouTube channel by MRZ Media. You can watch at 8K resolution how those three Titan X performing. Also, I'm going to run four, four way Titan X and SLI, two way and three way, 4K and 8K, and I'm going to compare it. It's going to be a huge video. Also, don't miss that video. I really like the uh, Grid 2 benchmark because it's nice static benchmark, and you can take the results good as gold and take it to the bank and compare with the future GPUs as well. As you can see the my video card information data will be at the left top corner. I have the all the three GPUs, memory one, memory two, memory three will be VRAM. Uh, it doesn't use too much VRAM, it's using 1772 megabytes. Wow, at the AK it's using almost 7000 megabytes. So it's less than two gigs at the 4K and the AK it's seven gigs. And uh, I also threw in the CPU for you and 7000 uh, megabytes is my system RAM. I have total 64 gigabyte of system RAM for total comfort. Today I'm recording with external camera so there is no force on the video cards except the game. So whatever FPS you can see, you're getting that FPS. Keep in mind that this static benchmark is not always static benchmark. The position of the car will be different so it's not pre-recorded demo, uh, but it's good enough as a static because every corner will be static and same but car's position will be a little bit different the way the AI is acting which will be most related on the CPU a little bit not too much 2-3 FPS plus minus uh, could be different but this is as good as it can get and I really like the static benchmark I will take it to my benchmark tools and use this benchmark a lot in my previews in the future previews so you can compare those results with the future hardware. So it is right now without the anti-aliasing FPS, incredible. It's incredible at 8K, you gotta watch it. And graphics is incredible too at the Grid 2. Grid 2 is very classic, but kind of like a classic Need for Speed gaming, racing and stuff like that. You will enjoy it. Supporting a lot of builds and uh, controllers. That's it, let's have a look at our results. I'm not going to spoil you about the AK, go ahead and watch that video over my channel and check the video description for this video, I'm going to put the link to that. Same system, AK, 3 Titan X. Alright, so my average FPS will be 148 frames per second, my minimum FPS will be 114 frames per second, my maximum FPS will be 189 frames per second 
very amazing result. Let's go ahead and enable the maximum ITLs. You can see how the Maxwell architecture, the top dot, can take care of it in three-way SLI, which is three-way SLI that next. Usually folks are running three benchmark as you can see there is an option and then taking the average but because I already know the score if it's going to be different then I'm going to record the video but if it's going to be different I'm going to go ahead and take it like this and um, usually during my previews and when I'm doing the previews or reviews of my hardware I'm always do the three ways but just because it's video I don't want to take it three ways on the video I already got it written so as again two three FPS difference Next, uh, you know, you can take it to the bank at uh, this resolution. It can be different, as you can see, the position of the car a little bit different. That's why yeah. two, three FPS extra, but not not the beginning. If your video card is 20 FPS faster than it is right now, or 30 FPS faster than it is right now, then it's a biggie. But two, three, four FPS more, plus minus, it could be because the position of the car is again different it's not totally static it's not like time demo that i bake a lot but i really like this benchmark because it, it has a lot of power direct x11 beautiful cars beautiful optimized as you can see and i'm going to use it as again as my tools with the different benchmarks for any kind of reviews and previews of the hardware which is the gpu laptops and the systems and etc so you're going to compare those results with different hardware for sure, even on my channel. This is the Steam version, not modified, so whatever you got it on Steam. As again, recorded with external camera, so FPS that you can see at the middle of the top screen, you can take it to the bank. render by the way the car look amazing man trees and everything just so beautiful but 8k resolution even on another level it's just so much details unbelievable and this gigantic 98 inch screen and just King Kong please don't forget This is how my Tom look like on this gigantic screen. So don't forget to like for more great videos, folks. Subscribe so you're not gonna miss any. Sometimes I even giving the giveaways on Steam and Origin, so don't miss this out. And plus, sometimes even going to be a hardware as well. All right, let's check it out. The average score, minimum, maximum, and don't forget to check it out the AK video to find out how Maxwell Top Dog architecture from Nvidia can scale. 4K to 8K. Average FPS 149 frames per second. Minimum FPS 114 frames per second. Maximum FPS 184. All right, folks. Thank you so much for watching. I play 4K with you today. Please don't forget to like. Any comments are welcome, but please be nice. Subscribe so you're not gonna miss any. Share it with your friends on Facebook, but please give me a credit. Thank you so much, and I will see you till the next time. Peace.